Good day, doctors. Today, we're going to learn about the examination of the oral cavity. The oral cavity, referred to as the mouth, includes the lips, buccal mucosa, gums, teeth, roof, floor of the mouth, tongue, soft palate, uvula, tonsillar pillars, tonsils, and posterior pharyngeal wall. For today, a 20-year-old female patient came to the clinic because of severe throat pain, accompanied by fever and left ear pain that increased with swallowing for two days duration. On PE, the patient is weak looking, temperature is 39.5 centigrade with pulse of 110 per minute. The tonsils are reddish, swollen, and covered with exudates. The left tympanic membrane is normal. Preparation for examination. Prepare the materials needed. Head mirror, gloves, mask, and tongue depressor. Face the patient with both of you seated at the same level. Set up the appropriate and adequate light source. Throughout the exam of the oral cavity, a good light source is needed. First part, the lips. Inspect the inner surface of the lips by retracting them with a tongue depressor while the teeth are approximated. Inspect for color, moisture, lesions, symmetry, and deformities. Next, the buccal mucosa. Look into the patient's open mouth and using a tongue depressor, inspect the buccal mucosa for color, pigmentation, ulcers, patches, and nodules. For the gums, observe for color, swelling, bleeding, retraction, discoloration, recession of the gingival margins, pus in the margins, presence of lead and bismuth line. Next, examine the teeth. Note absence of one or more teeth, presence of caries, discoloration, fillings, bridges, and braces. For the roof or palate and floor of the mouth, observe for color, deformities, any lesions and masses, and the odor. For the odor, check for alcohol, ammonia, acetone, or halitosis. For the examination of the tongue, ask the patient to open her mouth. Observe for abnormal movements, such as fasciculations or tremors. Ask the patient to protrude the tongue and observe for the following. The size, color, surface, moisture, symmetry, and lesions. Next, inspect for the soft palate, uvula, tonsillar pillars, tonsils, and posterior pharyngeal wall. With the patient's mouth open but the tongue not protruded, ask the patient to say, ah. This action may be enough to let you see the pharyngeal wall. If not, press a tongue depressor firmly down upon the midpoint of the arched tongue, far enough to get a good visualization of the pharynx, but not so far that you cause gagging. Ask the patient to say ah. Note the rise of the soft palate. A test 
for the 10th cranial nerve. Here are the normal findings. For the lips, it should be pinkish, moist, symmetrical, with no lesions. For the buccal mucosa and gums, they should be pink, smooth, with no lesions. For the teeth, complete set, no dental caries, and good oral hygiene. For the roof, floor, and palate, it should be pinkish and no lesions. The uvula in midline, tonsils not enlarged, pharynx is pink with no lesions and no exudates. <laughs>